You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Don Tolliver, you up to bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Uh, most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas fool gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in that. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back doing something new today. We actually doing a review. We not doing a reaction. So Don Tolliver dropped this new project, man. For everybody that's been living under a rock. If you haven't heard of it, it's out now. It's pretty much like a four disc, four song project. So it's like four different sections, four different uh, parts of the album. And it's four different records. So he also got a song on there called four by four you know what i mean this is his fourth solo project i think his first project came out in 2020 so he been dropping consistently man 2024 he, he this is his fourth project so he been he been consistent on it and to be honest i'm not too familiar with don tolliver i know he's a dope artist and i know he got a lot of buzz around him so i wanted to check out this project and see like what he was presenting to the people the first thing that stands out to me about this project is it is a great performative project meaning like the music that he used the instrumentation that he used the transitions that he used even how he would switch the song you know what i'm saying it gave me a lot of uh travis scott and i do understand that travis scott is one of his musical mentors i think he is signed to travis scott as well so of course you're gonna have a lot of influence from travis scott on your music but at the same time when you do that or when you sound like that it's gonna be a lot of scrutiny from people that like travis scott basically saying that maybe he can do it better than what you're doing you know what i mean it's just keeping it 100 but um he got some crazy creative switch ups in these songs if you haven't checked out the music yet you definitely should check it out he switches from crazy hard bass and crazy hard rapping to smooth melodic effortlessly you know what i mean so that was something that very that sparked my attention because i like transitions and i like being on my toes when it comes to listening to music i don't like just being stuck on one pattern one one tempo one cadence switch it up make it interesting you know what i'm saying and he definitely does that in his music so i definitely give him points for that for sure one of the songs that stood out to me was a joint with kodak black called brother stone I just like how Kodak Black came on. I like the cadence that he was using. I like the bounce. I like the beat. A lot of the beats, like I said on this joint, is fire. Fire production on this. And I like the way Kodak Black slid on this record, man. Super dope. So that's one of my standouts on this one, man. It's Brother Stone. Definitely check that out with Kodak Black. Also, another song that had a crazy beat on it, crazy production was Attitude. Crazy. Like I said, some of the best sounding beats I done heard on this project man it's it's in the beginning part of this project i definitely like the beat on attitude not only is the beat fire on attitude my man got charlie wilson as soon as charlie wilson came on i was like is that charlie because i wasn't even looking at the, the the features i was just listening to the music just consuming myself with the music but when i heard charlie wilson i was like is that charlie the only thing i gotta say about that record is he should have used more charlie wilson Charlie Wilson got a classic, legendary, silky voice, and he could have wove him all through that record. He only used him for a small piece of the song. It was a great piece, but I wish he would have used him more because Charlie Wilson is a legend, legendary. If you got him on the record, use him, man. So definitely a standout too, though. That's one. I think that is my favorite record on the project. Is that joint with Charlie Wilson, man? That 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 is fire. Also, another standout to me was Purple Rain featuring Future. Oh my God. The beat went crazy. Don Tolliver slid all over this joint. Pause. You know what I'm saying? That beat is crazy. Him and Future sounds really good together. I would have wished to hear more of Future on here too. You know what I mean? Like collab a little more. You know what I mean? Like mesh more. But the song is fire. You know what I'm saying? Super salute to Future, man, and Don Tolliver for this record. Super dope record. One of my standouts on this for sure. Also, another standout record for me was New Drop, man. It has a different type of bop to it. it. It has like almost like a pop sound, but it still got the hip hop drums and the edginess. I like the fusion of those two. You know what I mean? I definitely like how, like I said, it give you that pop side, but he got them 
them, them drums, them hi hats that give you that familiar hip hop trap sound. You know what I'm saying? And he, I just like that record. It's a different type of record. I don't see how it necessarily fits in the flow of what he was doing, but I like that he put it there because it is something different. You know what I mean? So I definitely like that record too. It's something different, but I like that. All in all, I give his project a solid seven and a half out of 10, man. It's a good record. You know what I'm saying? He got some joints on there, but also he got some joints on there where you can just ride out to and just vibe. You know what I mean? So he got the upbeat joints. He got the the hard bass and the, and the, and the crazy explosive, you know, production. But he also got some smooth stuff where you can just play and just ride out, just have a good night, have a good chill vibe. Like I said, a good seven and a half out of 10 for Don Tolliver. I can hear definitely a lot of Travis Scott vibes. I know that's your guy, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, I wanna hear more of Don Tolliver, if that make any sense. But he got some joints on here, man. So if you haven't checked out this album yet, man, definitely, definitely I recommend go checking it out. And like I said, be open to, to to explore music in a different way you know what i mean like he very different and eclectic i like that about him y'all let me know if y'all checked it out man what y'all think about the project but till next time man self-love and positivity fire squad i got you when you know it Whew.